Hey, welcome back. We've been doing a series on the RM85 build. We've got a couple different episodes showing you how we found them, uh, but we'll do a couple little things here like how to do the carb, give it its own video. That way, if you guys need to clean a carburetor on your RM85 or 85cc dirt bike, it'll be very similar. On this one, we're just going to go ahead and do a whole new carb kit uh, right up front. We're not even going to try to start the bike. And the reason for that is I just don't know anything about the bike. It's a 2016, could have been sitting for a while. So what we're going to need, um, I've already kind of got some tools ready, is the air jazzer, a bucket if I need to spray some starting fluid here, and then just some basic tools. If we need something else, we'll grab it. On this bike, I already see that the air boot is disconnected from the air box. So we'll just unscrew it here and here and remove that first. That way the, this will come off easy. And you can obviously tell we already took the gas tank off and the shroud off. We just installed the new radiator because that was pretty crumpled. Uh, so that's that's why the gas tank was already off. And then we're going to do a new air filter here at the end. So we'll work on that next. Now we got our carb boot out of the way. I bent this little tab out of the way that's holding our carb vent tubes down. We have a Phillips head screw right here. And then we just have to turn our, our uh, throttle cable off that's holding the slide. So we'll get that off and then we can actually hold the carb out here in our hand. The two strokes are so simple just having one throttle cable. Some of the four strokes have all kinds of things attached to them. So we'll take this out and then we'll unscrew this next. So there's a little bit of dirt down in there so it's a good thing we're doing it. We'll just take some starting fluid and clean that out of there. And then we have that Phillips pretty loose. Might need a little bit more there. Now you can just kind of grab it and pull it up. The carbs will recenter themselves. You can see in the top of the, the carb boot, it's got this little notch. And that lines up with this. That way you need to have to make sure your carburetor is not tilted because it, it won't run properly. So, so far it's a pretty clean carburetor. Um, we'll pop the bowl and see what it looks like. I like to do this over a bucket because I don't know what's in it for fluid. We obviously didn't run the bike before we got it. Okay, so it's already empty, so just kind of run this up and out of here. Actually, just unbolt it there. And so basically all that's left is just a bunch of two-stroke oil. And you can see in there that the gas is all evaporated and it's gone. It's just a bunch of red oil, but it's super clean, so it's super exciting. You might not need the carb kit in this bike at all, but we definitely want to clean these jets out uh, because of that oil in there, it's going to make it act different. So. We might not even use that carb kit. It's so clean in here. We're just gonna clean it out with some starting fluid here. We don't have carb cleaner, we just got starting fluid today. Looks a lot better in there, it's nice and cleaned out. Now that we got the oil out of here, um, the next thing we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll screw, unscrew the main jet and we'll get our, our needle out as well. So if I, let me grab a pick tool real quick. So we'll just push this out of the side there. And my GoPro might be blurry close up too, so that makes it difficult, but um, there's our needle and seat. It looks new. I don't, this bike really hasn't been ridden at all. So the carb kit, and I'll show you the carb kit anyway, even though we're not going to use it now. I'll still show you what it looks like here. So let me grab the wrench here. And then we can unscrew our main jet out of here as well. And I always like to hold it up to the light before I do anything. Um, there's a little bit of oil 
kind of plugging that a little bit, so it's a good thing we're doing it. So this just this just slid off. I thought I had a next layer to get it out, but I didn't. And then now I can get a, a regular screwdriver on here. And this one might be too big of a head. And we'll just unscrew this. And again, I'll hold this one up. Yeah, just a lot of oil on it. So now I'm going to take my air jazzer and I'm just going to blow out all these different ports, uh, main jet, needle jet, and then air screw there. So I'll just do this real quick. And you also want to flip it over and uh, this is where your fuel comes in. And then if you look in the front of the carb here, and then you want to open the choke and then blast in its channel, which I think is was this one right here. So that's pretty much everything. Everything that we wanted to blow through, make sure it's all good. I was expecting this. It's a 2016, but the bike has like no time on it. We're just going through the whole thing. Um, so it doesn't need the carb kit. I can show you the carb kit if we needed to do anything. It's got all the new jets. It even comes with new screws. These ones came out really easy. I didn't hurt them at all, but normally you kind of booger your Phillips screws coming out. It gives you all new O-rings, all new jets. But I think I'm going to save this kit because we do have another project bike sitting over there. Another RM85 that we're going to maybe put back together. So we'll just go in reverse order after I blow these out. See how that stuff shoot out of there? All right, so then we'll just uh, start with this one. Let's use our screwdriver. Get that tightened in. You don't want to like you don't want to kill these either. You want to make them too tight. Slide this on here, and then we got to get our needle and see. So we don't need this bucket anymore, I suppose. So the needle just fell off of here, and it's easy to reinstall. We just slide it back on top of its groove there. It's now hanging on there, and we'll just tilt the carb this way. Slide it in. Oh, well, you know what? Hmm. Let's uh, let's put this in first before we put that little weight. The slide on there. We'll line this up. Put that through there. Reinstall this, and then now it's really simple. We're just going to take our our float bowl and put it back on. I'll screw all this together, and I'll show you it back on the bike. All right. So the top of this carburetor is cut out. It's got this slide here, and you'll see in the side of the carburetor. There's that channel down in there, and the slide has to go in and down on that. It, oh, it twisted on me, that's why. So I just gotta keep playing with it. I felt it go down in, and obviously it wouldn't have even gone down in if it wouldn't. And once I screw this cap on, now's a good time to, to play it, like uh, actually grab the throttle. Everything seems really good, motion's good. It goes all the way up, all the way down. So all we're gonna do now is reinstall this and like I mentioned before this little centering tab will line up in between the car boot there so all I'll do is slide this on screw it down and then we'll reinstall install the car boot behind it and then we'll get a new air filter in this thing now's a great time as well when we're reinstalling this I would recommend cleaning this whole area out take like a paper towel with some starting fluid it might look clean but there's a bunch of residue in here so um, we'll clean this out before we reinstall it all right, so just whenever you're done with this, just make sure you route your hoses down properly. They don't get pinched off underneath the carb. The Suzuki's kind of cool. It's got a couple different clamps that go down and out. Holds them nice off to the side. So again, this is Jared at 3Cs. That was a carb check and clean. And we're going to do a bunch of videos on this RM85. Check them out. We also do a ton of beta stuff. Check out our channel, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.